Hi everyone! This is a tutorial about masks in GeoTracker. We'll show you a couple of ways to improve tracking significantly by using 2D masks. We're gonna go through each mask type in detail and describe how to set them up in GeoTracker. We'll also talk about excluding problematic areas with help of surface mask. But let's first take a look at how GeoTracker deals with occlusions and whether we need to use masks each time we do tracking. Say we need to track the phone in the lady's hands, but in this shot her fingers are over the screen and it looks as if it's going to cause some problems. Anyways, let's try to do that with a plain primitive and see what will happen. Bingo! That was an example showing that quite often GeoTracker simply ignores things like hands or other objects that go over the tracking area. But here's another footage in which the character is blowing a kiss. Let's track it with a head model and see if that works. Because his hand is moving in front of his face, the tracking is unstable. One way to make it work is to use a mask. Let's go to the last frame before the hand goes over the face and delete all keyframes to the right. Create an adjustment layer, name this layer Shape Mask for example, and then draw a mask. Right now the mask is static so we'll animate its path to make it follow the hand. Alright. All you need to do now is go to Masks group Unfold 2D Mask tab and select Shape Mask in the Layer drop-down list. The list on the left reveals all layers in your timeline. The right one is the mask type. For all drawn masks, select Masks. Over here is the channel list, where you can choose the channel to read the mask from. In our case, the default alpha is what we need. As we track this shot again, now with a small adjustment, we see that GeoTracker ignores the hand and the result is a lot more smooth. Now, in the newly released update, there's a new feature called Surface Mask, which allows you to get a great result easier and quicker. Let's see how it works with the same shot as an example. So once the model is aligned with the singer's head, we go to Surface Mask and pick the brush. Now we'll mark those polygons we want GeoTracker to skip while tracking. If you click on something you didn't mean to, use the eraser to deselect the marked polygons. Also, there's an ignore checkbox, which allows you to switch the mask off for the chosen intervals or even the entire video and ignore it in tracking. For example, we can tell GeoTracker to ignore the mask from the start. Then at some point we stop tracking, set a keyframe, enable the mask and track forward till the end. That was Surface Mask. Pretty cool, right? Here's one more shot. If we track this phone screen, it's going to fail because of the finger reflection on its surface. Let's drag the same video into the composition and rename it as Key Mask. Key the green screen and invert Alpha in that layer. Use the key light effect settings that suit you most. Now we can go to Masks group and select the key mask layer as source. This time we need to go for Effects and Masks in the right menu because this mask was created by means of effects. Now we can do the tracking. Here we go. The mesh sits perfectly on the phone screen. Sometimes you already have a sequence of rendered masks. There's an option for that one too. Just drag that file into the composition. This is what the inbuilt mask looks like. It contains RGB and alpha channels as well. Let's turn this layer off. Now we need to tell GeoTracker to use this exact mask as source. So we go to masks group again, but this time we're going to select source in the right layer list. Leave the channel list as it is and track the footage. See, it's pretty smooth. And that's pretty much it about using different masks in your tracking pipeline. If you want to learn more, check out our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified about our new tutorials and streams. If you haven't already, download GeoTracker from our website and enjoy the fully functional free trial.